dry out anytime soon. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. I know, can you believe this? Okay, the Southern California weather, or actually the weather changed just like that. It was bright and sunny. Okay, we knew it was winter, and so getting the mid-70s is not going to last. And so now we are totally, like, totally drenched. And you're, oh, wait a minute, you're not in Southern, you don't really care? Okay, so what's in the major news today? Oh, wait a minute, gun control. Man, okay, is the news media really... Well, let's just say this. Is the news media really unbiased? They have no political agenda? Wait a minute. Was that news or entertainment? I know. I think they're getting the two confused. Anyway, we're going to call OCAM on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. A hint, if you read the morning news, that the majority of the people have turned against the extremist views of the Republicans, and now the major, the vast majority of American people, you know, anybody wants to know, this is Rex. Rex actually grew up. So he listened to this. The vast majority of the people support the president's views on gun control and are demanding the extremist Republicans support the president to stop gun problems, even though i got to cover Rex's ears because Rex doesn't like that. Even though more people are killed by hammers every year than are killed by rifles. Oh, and two suspects detained after shooting on Texas College campus. Yeah, you know, and both of them, it, 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 it is amazing, both of them seem to have mental problems again. Oh, they do? You know, the only thing lacking from all of Obama's and all the Democrats' things on gun control What's is that? that people with mental issues. You know why? Because the ACLU will not allow you to, uh, it, this can't be brought into public record. This is where Obama, Obama basically wants the, uh, the uh, under Obamacare, gives you the right to be uh, you know, a fifth columnist, which means in the, oh, in the days when I was growing up, it means you turn in the people in your families for things you might suspect. Okay, um, even Tom Cruise has said, oh, it sounds like the United States is you know, my movie is now becoming reality, which was the Minority Report, which means if they think you might do something wrong in the future, they fix it so it never happens. That's bad. UN unanimously condemns North Korea rocket launch. And why China, China joined in? Because what can be fired at the United States can be fired at Peking just as easy. And, That's right. and it is really a flip of a coin whether you can shoot down a nuclear missile or not. It's never been done. Oh, it hasn't? No, they've shot down low missiles with Patriots. But, okay, do you want to be the country that the nuclear missile is shot down over? Uh-huh. And General Allen cleared of wrongdoing with socialite. Oh, isn't that amazing? Because uh, uh, Obama is wanting this to go away, because, go away because he's got all of these people. He's put a nomination. I mean, like this morning, he, you know, he, he nominated for somebody for Security Exchange Commission that has no financial background, and she has a she has a long history of not trying Democratic Party donors, but going after Republican donors. So now she's going to be the head of the SEC. I mean, they said he is setting up a system where everybody has to fail. Uh, Michelle Obama's hair called the hairstyle of 2013, although it's called the Carly, named after the supermodel. I know. Uh, okay, first of all, she isn't. It wasn't the greatest dress ever seen in, in, a, in the history. She busted tradition all the heck, and it's all about tradition. And she really isn't that good looking in that dress. She's had a lot better looking dresses on. Mm -hmm. It's just like she wanted to basically say F you to everybody out there. So she picked, they picked an improper dress for the, uh, the, uh, you know, the inauguration. What, what makes it improper? The shoulders? Oh no, it was totally. It was all red. The color. It, was, it was red. It was not. It was not a gown. It was basically something you would wear to an evening event, not to something. Not like a formal form. occasion. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. Every one of the people say, one of the people on the left, the comic said, I, I don't know why he didn't come out in his golfing shorts, his his, his t-shirt, uh, and and it was golf clubs. He did come out chewing bubble gum because. Oh, he did. Everyone knows. He is addicted to nicotine gum, uh, which, okay, here's the thing is, if you use nicotine gum to, so much, it can give you mood swings, and he shows mood swings badly at times. Oh, really? It means he smokes, folks. Uh -huh. Smokes a lot when he can get away with it. And is space big enough for two asteroid mining companies? Well, there's not even going to be one, so that's sort of an asinine statement, isn't it? Because 
that first I want to explain a little thing, a little technicality that they continually don't tell you. Uh, we've got to cover Rex's ears again. It is illegal for anyone other than the United States government to have a guided system in any missile they produce. So therefore, the only people that can do space mining would be NASA, and he's dismantling NASA. Uh, yeah, that's true, he is. <laughs> um, conservative groups give GOP a pass on debt ceiling hike with? Well, I mean, I, 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 okay, the GOP, he'll love this one, okay, the GOP put out, they got a website now, we will listen to what you have to say. I have a person that simply, I know a family rep member that contacted him, Otto, he said to see, yeah, like we can expect you to listen to the people just like you listen to the people that elected you and instead of trying to get the people that didn't elect you to support you, mm -hmm. like you listen to the people that say don't nominate another senior citizen that can't articulate uh -huh. and then he went, he went, like he said, I can go on for 20 more pages of what you won't listen to and only have to tell you one, that the only people you're going to listen to is the press that doesn't, that wants you to go out of existence. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, conservative, oh, a roundup of the best photos of the day. Oh yeah, the best photos all happened to be Obama and his wife. Oh, that's true. They were from the inauguration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Senate to examine F. Well, you know that is their big day. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, I ain't, okay. Obama. Okay. All I resent is that people like Bill O'Reilly and other people simply have never called Obama what he is. He is a socialist. He doesn't, and they say, well, he's too smart a man to do it. No, he's doing exactly what a socialist would do. That's right. He has a political agenda. He's going to do that agenda, which is a one-party system, so that he can rise the lower person up. Well, it doesn't happen in social countries. The little guy never rises up because the guys at the top, like the president and the Democratic Party leaders, will always keep him down. Otherwise, would you elect a Barack Obama or a, or a Harry Reid if you were somebody that was on the upward movement? No, you wouldn't, because you know that he, he wants to take everything you're going to get from you. You know what? I was thinking about those best photos of the day. I'm thinking, of course, they're being inaugurated. When I think back on before previous inaugurations, they showed other scenes that were happening too, not just the president. I know this was nothing but the president. Okay. What happened was was the people on the right were only showing things of Obama because Obama was where the action was. It's where everywhere all the press was, was where the right people were to photograph the press, taking pictures of the president and his wife, which basically negates the reason for them being the other side. Mm -hmm. And Senate to examine FAA approval of the Dreamliner battery. First of all, um, and, okay, what, what happens is planes are not meant to be flown by, uh, by electronics. I mean, I can remember when I was flying, a lot. All the planes that didn't have fly-by-wire tended to crash a lot oh. because when they lost the battery. I'm going to explain something very simple. My father uh, was uh, assistant to Omar Bradley when my father was the head, like the, my father was the, the head of the American Legion, you know, uh, medical division once, and uh, for a long time. And my father got into. My father was a tank commander. Bradley was the head of the, the Third Corps, which was tanks. And my father, he asked my father to get in and look at it. My father asked a simple question to the general in charge. He said, what happens when the top of the battery goes out? And he said, well, that's not going to happen. We haven't done it. See? My father said, what happens when the battery goes out? Well, that can't possibly happen. And Omar Bradley mm -hmm. said, finally, what happens when the battery goes out? He said, well, then the tank stops. Uh -huh. and he said, fix it. They didn't. And say goodbye to the alternative minimum tax. Oh yeah, they they got rid of the alternative minimum tax and then rose everybody's taxes. Oh, they did. Yeah, and they got their taxes rose anyway. I mean, you got to look at what they're talking about this morning. Everybody is paying more taxes today than they were yep. under the alternative minimum tax. It was meant to keep the taxes low. When they got rid of it, the taxes now have went up to the same tax rate everybody's paying. So they got 20 million people got screwed by this government, mm -hmm. folks. And Palestinians see no hope for peace in Israel. Uh, Israeli election. They, they're, okay, they never hope for peace. Their, their idea of peace. Okay, this guy yesterday, Morrissey, that's the head of Egypt, said he, he said that uh, the Israeli Jews were nothing more than the children of of, uh, of of monkeys and pigs. That's what the Muslims think of them. And like I said, Obama is supporting a person like that. And ADHD rates rates soar in California, but why? 
uh, because California is raising taxes across the board. We just saw a thing today that the average cost of a bottle of wine is going up by uh, 49 cents as of today. Mm. And is Facebook envy making you miserable? That's got to be the most asinine <laughs> thing now. Facebook envy. I, can, I don't know anybody. Most of the people I know use Facebook simply as a uh, uh, okay, you have two groups of people. One like me who basically only puts on what I'm doing, you know, and the other people which basically live on the thing. The ones that live on you, on Facebook and care less, they don't have envy. Mm -hmm. They live there. They control it. Mm -hmm. And a monster bubble was in front of the March Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay. Uh, that always expect the unexpected and never be prepared. <laughs> well, that's the truth. <laughs>